Hey guys, what's up? It is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and oh my god, this is BTN HD update 9.0. Uh, it has been almost three years. I actually got notes <laughs> that uh, I actually did a last update with you guys. I did 8.0, which was 2016, right? Yeah, 2016. Yeah. So what is happening to the channel? A lot's been happening in the channel. Um, wow. I wrote down a couple of things that I want to go over, some of the updates, and a couple of things that I want to push out to the channel to make it grow and then push out more content to you guys. And then also explain my, my madness of some of the videos that I've been pushing out to you guys. So first things first, I've been pushing out a lot of deployment videos. I think the last three videos that I did with you guys was uh, the Win Witch Power Show um, script, doing the OSD Builder. I did the Hydration Kit, uh, and actually four videos. And the last video was dealing with deploying SCCM Endpoint Manager 1911 with MBT. We did a lot of modifications on that. I had a lot of fun with that video. Uh, a lot of headaches. I think I, I got a couple of gray hairs because of that video. Uh, because behind the scenes, I was having a lot of issues deploying it. But I finally got it up and running to the point that I was able to install SQL, add it to the domain, install MDT, install the integration MDT, and just do a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Just, just automate everything, which was great. Uh, I'm still going to push out more SCCM MDT videos. I'm actually updating my SCCM uh, machine, which was on, it's, a, it's on Configuration Manager 1906, and there was an update uh, on August and September, and I didn't push it out, and I'm actually pushing out those updates right now. I know, bad practice, but I've been so busy dealing with Azure, Hyper-V Manager, and then pushing out SCCM all, you know, automatically on deployment to test it out. So I don't know if I'm gonna fully use Azure as my primary testing lab. I don't know as yet. I'm still using Lenovo's TD340. Uh, so I'm debating local or do everything in the cloud. Uh, laptop reviews. I'm, st I'm still pushing out Lenovo laptop reviews like, like crazy. And uh, for some reason, Lenovo is the only company that's able to give me laptops. I feel like these other companies are afraid of sending me these laptops and me just telling you guys the truth. Now, the format that I like to do on my laptop reviews are, is the following. I used to do the first week when I got the laptop, do an unboxing and first impressions. My first impressions is basically just like literally opening the box with you guys and just like my first impressions of it. I have the slightest clue of the laptop specs and the specifications and you know, what kind of processor, what memory, what's the max of this, blah, blah, blah. On the second week, I do my homework, I play around with it, and then I do the review. I changed the formatting to the point that now I give myself two weeks straight. I do a quick speed unboxing at the very beginning of my reviews, and then I break it down what's inside the box. Uh, I break down the, the material, the ports and features, uh, keyboard, trackpad, the size, the thickness, battery life, uh, heating, pricing, uh, overall, how well did it work out for me during those two weeks? And I'm using it with my day-to-day -day stuff. Like I use Adobe Premiere, I'm editing videos, 4K videos, I'm doing Photoshop, I'm doing uh, Netflix, uh, Chrome, all that stuff. So I'm using the laptop like a regular consumer. And then I go back to you and then I give you my feedback on the laptop. Um, so that's my format of how I'm dealing with future laptops reviews for you guys. So it's like a two for one, unboxing and the review, okay? Uh, for tech, I've been pushing out a lot of Windows stuff like installation, configuration, and a lot of you guys, some of you are kind of upset because I kind of, I give you the tip and then I pull out real quick. <laughs> It's kind of a funny, kind of funny way to explain it, but uh, I don't, I don't like doing long videos because a lot of you guys have like really low, um, what do you call it? Uh, you guys are not gonna sit down and watch a 15 minute video of me just going next, 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 next. So I try to break down the videos 
into little mini series, maybe five minutes to three minutes. I am more of a person that analyzes all the videos of how long you guys stay tuned. Uh, for the last video that I, I posted up was dealing with Windows Server 2019 and RDS, the installation, like get started. I gave you guys like the basic, like I could give you like 30 minute video of breaking everything down, configuring. A lot of you guys are not gonna watch a 30 minute video, so I try to break it down to five minutes, do little segments, right? I like to test the stuff out in my environment and then I push it out to you guys. If I have any issues, I fix it and then I will add it to the video. I would say, okay, this broke because I did this and this is how I fix it. So I like to break down my installation, my configuration and set up, you know, tech stuff for you guys in little mini series. Uh, there's, I think the past two videos, the last two videos that I did for you guys were 12, 15 minutes. Those are the type of videos that I can't kind of split into little sections. So I actually have to just give it to you and all, right? I did a gaming and tech kind of web series and I did two pilots. And there were epic failure. A lot of you guys gave me feedback and I love when you guys give me feedback because I, I actually take it in consideration. So I started I started saying to myself, okay, uh, I can't play video games because I'm gonna be too focused on playing video games and then the whole tech part is gonna go out the door. So I say to myself, how about I do tech vlog, right? I start talking about different things, different topics of technology like Linux, uh, Linux, Microsoft, uh, all that stuff just give you guys like a vlog kind of format which I am playing around with that and probably that is how I am going to do it so it's like a vlog style but we're focused on tech stuff but I'm also going to uh, provide other geeky techy stuff that I like to deal with like I'm into anime I'm into uh, manga Dragon Ball Z Naruto One Piece I'm into all that stuff so I'm gonna try to add more content to that, like bring my personal life to the channel rather than doing techie stuff. Uh, because in this mind, there's a, a lot of stuff and I wanna show you guys. I wanna bring you in my world, right? Uh, I released a five, it's five for now, five videos. It is a penetration test uh, series, web series. First five videos show you guys how to get you guys up and running within your lab. I'm doing everything within a Hyper-V, but you can actually do it within a virtual box or a VM workstation environment. Uh, I am going to with like video six and beyond. I don't even know how many numbers I'm going to push out for the web series. Uh, we're going to be dealing with Kali and it's many, 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 many hacking tools that it has. I have to sit down, think about which tools I want to hit first so I could update the playlist but for now I have five videos detailing the, the my lab of how I'm gonna you know basically my lab you guys can follow along and then when I push out you know video six and beyond I don't know again I don't know which I don't I don't know how many videos I'm gonna have but then you guys could just follow along with the with my setup but last but not least for this update video Hopefully I could continue doing this update video for the channel with you guys. I am not going to CES. This is the first year that I'm not going to CES. I've been going to CES for five years straight. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for all this craziness that I am going to be pushing out to the channel. And uh, I'm already tired and uh, I'm out of here. Peace out.